Foreign Secretary, uh, you said on um, March the 8th that you would get new advice on Israel's compliance with international law. You said in the coming days, uh, on March the 8th, it is now April the 9th. So when are you going to decide whether or not Israel is breaching international humanitarian law? Um, thanks. On Israel and international humanitarian law, um, as required by the UK's robust arms export control regime, I have now reviewed the most recent advice about the situation in Gaza and Israel's conduct of their military campaign. Um, the latest assessment leaves our position on export licenses unchanged. This is consistent with the advice that I and other ministers have received. And as ever, we will keep the position under review. Let me be clear, though, we continue have to have grave concerns around the humanitarian access issue in Gaza, both for the period that was assessed and subsequently. We've seen a welcome increase in trucks with, as Tony said, uh, perhaps as many as 400 going in yesterday, the highest since October the 7th, and, of course, public commitments from Israel to flood Gaza with aid. These now need to be turned into reality. Our position is in line with our international partners. So far, no like-minded countries have taken the decision to suspend existing arms export licenses to Israel. And I'd add that Israel remains a vital defense and security partner to the UK. Our cooperation makes the UK and Israel more secure from external threats. We will continue to use this robust uh, legal process to assess these issues. And I just add, we don't publish uh, legal advice. We don't comment on legal advice, but we act in a way that is consistent with it. We're a government under the law, and that's as it should be. Just to follow up on my uh, BBC colleague's fine question about international humanitarian law and uh, the supply of weapons. I mean, given the passions coursing through our societies about the Gaza issue, what is the argument against transparency, against and letting people know what the legal advice being received by you is. Isn't transparency everything? So I think it is an important principle um, that legal advice is not published, um, that ministers consider it and act in a way that is consistent with it. Uh, we answer questions about it, as I am now, as I will be in the House of Lords, I'm sure, next week. And I've got a question time on Tuesday, but probably a statement as well. And it's right that we answer those questions. We have published summaries of legal advice, but that has been when we've been sending British troops into action, as we did uh, in Libya, or as we did recently when we um, sent British um, Air Force personnel into combat uh, with the Houthis. I think that's a different situation, a summary of legal advice published in those circumstances. I don't think it's right in these circumstances, and I say we act consistent with it. We're happy to answer questions about it. We're very clear about the deep concern we have about the humanitarian aid situation, but the overall judgment is those export licenses will remain open and continue.